Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Firestorm Podcast. Today we're doing an album review of the brand new Skillet album, Revolution. Now, there's wow a little bit of... we Wow, we skillet's back, baby. We got a, a little bit of. Uh, I'm feeling like uh, cooking something up on the. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like uh, frying something. Oh, in a, I feel in like a skill in a skillet. skillet. Uh, on, on the skillet, I'm gonna fry up some uh, some chicken what, am I, a tenders. professional comedian? No. What do you, um, you, you make on a skillet? Like I don't know, like what do you make? brisket uh, what are you or like fucking hamburgers or some shit. Yeah, yeah, hamburger oh, patties. We're gonna cook up some patties. We're gonna have some burgers yeah. on the skillet. Yeah, boys. Yeah. Um, a fucking Let's go. Keen. Yeah, we um skillet. Like we've talked about skillet quite a fair amount. In fact, like our third ever podcast was based on skillet. Just after the Victorious album came out. And oh. 80, 80 episodes later, we're reviewing their uh, first ever... Oh, it is ever 83, in- isn't it? Wow. I know it is. Yeah, we're reviewing their first ever independent album. Uh, wow, th- 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 I believe not signed to a record label. Now that's good shit. I believe they've been with Atlantic for the longest time, and... Uh, for whatever reason, they were like, "Hey, we're going into now." They're now they're signed to Jesus Christ. They actually they are. <laughs> Hear it loud. Their own independent label is their own Christ-like <laughs> band label. <laughs> they can do whatever they want in the name of the Lord. So uh, that's exactly their manager what is doing. Jesus H Christ. That's Let's just go. it. All their money goes into the fucking collection <laughs> tray on Sundays. All their money, all of it. So yeah, one hundred percent of the proceeds from this album is going straight to Jesus. You're welcome. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Why does much. God need money? I don't know, but he does. He's poor. Uh, he's not exactly. God needs all of it. He needs all of your love and support, and we will give it to him. But um, not, yeah. not now. By by so, giving by giving them like uh how like three cents worth of Spotify revenue. That's each. it. That's it, I, and I don't think they're making a lot of revenue because I'm looking at the uh, the plays they've got, and so far it's not that not that much apart from. It's only been a day. It's only been a day. Yeah, that's just it. It's only been a day. But um, yeah, yeah. So we are big How fans you... of Skillet, as all of you should know. Um, yeah, yeah we, we reviewed Dominion. Uh, we talked mm-hmm. about them after they released Victorious, and mm-hmm. yeah, I've been a constant fan of them for a long time, and I know you are yeah. as well. It was, yeah, it was my, like, fan fiction writing era as a teenager. Like, stuff like Comatose and Whispers in the Dark and uh, Awaken yeah. Alive would be, yeah. like, uh, the, my, the soundtrack to my fan fiction, my edgy fan fiction writing years when I was, like, 15. Yeah. That's just right. That's just it. Yeah, my, the emo phase that we all had as teenagers and the, a few of their songs were used in, like, wrestling uh, show themes and stuff like that. Like, yes. So I, yeah. so I knew of Skillet before I actually knew of Skillet, so it was kind of hype. Um, I don't know why I realized this. I think it's because I saw your uh, your not tweet, your blue sky or whatever, about the, the one band that doesn't make music anymore. And I realized that your taste in music is anything that would appear in SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. <laughs> Dude, that, dude, that is exactly it. I've literally gone back and listened to some of those bands. And, like, half those bands don't make music anymore. And, but, like, that that band I posted, yeah, one of their songs was in a SmackDown vs. Raw video game. So, like, like a whole heap of my... That, yeah. d- dude, anything that, that sounds like it would dude, be a SmackDown you are versus so Raw. correct. So I know, dude. My, oh my fucking God. Yeah. Like, it's anything, taken a not, lot. Even if it didn't appear, if it sounds like it would appear in SmackDown versus yes. Raw 2008, you like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, necessarily yeah. 2008, like any of the SmackDown yeah. versus Raw. That, yeah, around anything from around that time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, you would not believe how correct that is. That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, no, nah, you're right. Because I listened right. to one of the songs from that, that band you mentioned. Like, I think I saw it on, like, the sidebar. Because I, I yeah. always, like, my keep my Spotify up so I have my, what my friends are listening to. And it's like, here's Trent listening to this band I've never heard of. Let me play a song. And it's like, this sounds straight out of SmackDown no, vs. Raw 2009. One of them was. One of them was in 2007. <laughs> so you're correct. Oh, Like, wow. It. Well done. It's just something well that you're sitting on the menu screen, like, because I had, I can't remember what year I had, but it must have been like 2009, 2010, and uh, I just yeah. like so much of the sit like menu music, it was just that. Wow. Like, wow, dude. That's 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 yeah. well there. done. 
Well, there's well my analysis, enough. my professional analysis. And you are correct. Every time when it comes to music, you are literally correct about all of my tastes. Yes. So, look, it, it pays to be a professional uh, musician like that. So, yeah, uh, true. Good, good on you for that. Um, but yes, so sit along with us for this album review of Revolution. If you haven't Fuck. done an album review with us before, uh, obviously yes. we can't play the songs because we get copyrighted and we die. So uh, go on to your favorite yeah. streaming In service or provider, whoever you like to listen oh. to music through, and uh, we will count down and play the songs, and you can listen can along I? with us here uh, in-time uh, reactions. And uh, hold on, what's... You okay? What? No, sorry. I was just. I'm looking at. Uh, I'm curious because we we found out um, when we did the Red album, the last Red album, which was their first independent album. Uh, we mm -hmm. found out it was self-produced, so they didn't have the help of a producer. And it seems that in this case, the Revolution, this album, is also self-produced. It seems like mostly it's produced by Seth, their guitarist. Um, oh. I believe that's their guitarist. So this is also a self-produced Skillet album. But again, I think just like in the case of Red, uh, they've been doing it for so long, they they get it. Um, oh, no, no, no. It's a different I, Seth. It's a different Seth. Oh, is Seth, it a different Seth? Seth, okay. Seth Morrison is the lead guitarist. Seth Mosley is the... Okay, and it's not always Seth. And it's not always Seth. It's some it's some guy is named... It, there's the, also some guy named Brian. The Coopers have written a lot of it. Yeah, Brian Howes, yeah. Seth Mosley... Corey Cooper, so uh, classic Corey has done a few. Yes. Good on her. Yes. Love to hear it. Then there's um, Revolution. The title track was done by some other one. I don't know who that is. Anyway, I thought that... Oh, yeah, Seth. Yeah, Seth Morrison. That's right. Okay, yeah. It sounded familiar now. Okay, so they yep. did have a product producer. Okay, cool. I wanted to... I was curious. Um, yep. Anyway, right. so yeah. Uh, join along with us. Listen to this review with us. And uh, yeah, yeah. Hear our feedback in person. Yes. We will pause after every song. I'm going to reach deep it. into my soul to recover the the ten me from ten years ago who was like you know really vibing out to skillet music like that, oh yeah like 2009 100%. skillet music and the past, I'm gonna the past few days it. yeah no 100 percent the past few days actually um because I, I did this whole thing where I basically culled my Spotify and then like I'm re-listening to all the bands I really like from their older stuff to their newer stuff just so i can like hear everything that i like neglected before and like i mm. recently went back and like i listened to all of three days grace uh breaking benjamin uh tremonti so like i i am i am in the mood i am in the vibe of like damn the fucking shit i love right now so skillet i'm ready for it to fucking kick me and make it make it hurt make it fucking i want to hear yeah. it i want to hear the vibe the, uh, the the only song i've heard is unpopular the very first single that's the only one okay i haven't heard anything i'm curious if they because you know obviously in more like some of the re recent albums like namely like unleashed and victorious they took their music in a more like pop catchy direction while still maintaining like the rock elements of it so i am curious mm -hmm. what direction they went with this album um, me too I think I think in uh what should we call it Dominion Dominion sounded more like older Skillet compared to the previous two albums, um, but they still had like the yeah. new poppy, catchy thing that they had developed since then as well. It was like a good blend of everything. So I'm curious. I'm hoping that's kind of something like this because I did really like Dominion. I still mm -hmm. listen to a few tracks from that from that album. Yep, Sam, <clears throat> definitely. I, I'm keen for this. That is. Uh, so let's. Unless there's anything else to say, I think let's just hop no, right let's, into it. Let's do it. I, I got an email just like, I'm not even kidding, like three hours ago saying, oh yeah, because I pre-ordered a, a jumper and the CD and it said, mm. oh, your thing has shipped. And I'm like, let's go. So it would let's take like a, a month to get here, but it will get here eventually. So Damn. Okay. Oh. All right. Then let's begin. The track number one is called Showtime. How appropriate for the first track of the album. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to play it starting in three, two, one, go. Well. Yep. I was kind of expecting like a big fucking breakdown right there. Okay. I should turn my volume down. Do 
doing a this bit of a build up. Sounds, there, right? This sounds like something that would have been a WWE pay per view theme like six years ago. <laughs> It could still be a WWE pay per view theme. Like they only next use year. Megan Thee Stallion now. Yeah, true. And that one guy who always has WrestleMania themes, The Weekend. Yeah. They wrote this to be used at like the NFL and WWE. Yeah, seriously. They're like, this will get us on the radio. Man, old John still got it. John's still he's so good. Oh my god. Hey, still got god. it, baby. How old is he? Fucking one hundred and two. And that motherfucker. Yeah, is still seriously. Kicking. Still is so good. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's the name of the album. Holy shit. Oh, sorry, I swore. Sorry, John. Sorry, John. Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> they do. I like, they, that, they Jen, I like that Jen just sometimes shows up and is like, hi, Jen. Yeah, yeah that's, that's just it. Like, it's 80% John, and Jen's just like, I'll do something before the chorus. And it's always yeah. something before the chorus. Or like mid-chorus. Yeah, has in the to middle of it. Pop off, Seth. I wonder if she's too busy drumming sometimes that she forgets that to sing. It's like, oh shit, this is my, this is my one, like, this is my two lines. <laughs> Mid-recording, John's going to be like, all right, I guess I'm filling in for this part. Like, all right, sure. Yeah, yeah. She's still drumming. She's still drumming over there. Yeah, no, I mean like in live shows. Like she just forgets that she has like two lines when John's doing the rest. Like, whoops, sorry, I missed it. Can I do this? Show time! Hey, I'm I'm at a sports event. Hit that baseball! Show time! Shit! All right, I'm I'm done. I'm not at a sports event. If I was though, if you were, you'd know the lyrics. Yeah, I would. It's like, oh, I love Skillet. All right. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, let's go. I, 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 I can't swear. Oh, no. I, yeah, just yeah. Oh, John just, won't love yeah. me anymore. Damn it. No, I, look, honestly, I like mean, that, uh... that, they, they've done this in recent albums where like one or two songs are like, that they sound designed yeah. to be used for like sporting yeah. events. They sound that, like, like radio songs. Yeah, totally. That, that's just it. But they they have, they are very accustomed to having a few of their songs on the radio by now, so they always kind of make songs adjusted for that. And to be honest, like yeah. two minutes in, I was kind of like, oh yeah, it's a bit samey. But then it, I started bobbing my head to it. I'm like, okay, no, you know yeah, what? Yeah, no, I, it's I, groovy. It's it's getting catchy now. So. uh yeah, no, very good. They really opinion. have that have nailed down now. You know, like ever since they did like Feel Invincible or whatever. I think that's for the name of the song. Like this like this one, like yeah, Feel yeah, Invincible, yeah. fucking what's the other one? Uh 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 Legendary. It's in th that yeah. one's in the same category. No, uh, you're they've right. They've really got right. it down. They've really got it down. It just works. Like I can't like yeah, you know, you look at it objectively, it is a bit samey, like it gets repetitive, absolutely, but like you gotta love it, you know. Yeah. Like, and, it's and nowadays, cool. nowadays it's that repetitiveness that gets it stuck in your head. Like that's yeah. what a lot of modern like radio songs are built built for. Like, mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, that was good. That was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, yeah, I can I don't even have like it was just. I think the. I actually do think the. Um, I guess it would be Corey. Corey's guitar riffing. Like she just, I don't know how she does it. Like she, she just has these new ideas all the time. Like it's, it's, it's distinct enough from the others to like stand on its own. Like it, it, that was good. 
Um, Mm. Because I feel like if they, you know, it is absolutely like, oh, this sounds like, uh, and similar to like Feel Invincible and Legendary and that, but like, it's still unique enough to stand on its own. It's got its own, well, you know, a a different-ish message. Uh, You know, it's still a very like pump up, I'm cool as shit kind of thing. There's nothing wrong with that. We all need that in our life, but um, yeah, it just like I just am so impressed with like how they're always coming up with like these new ideas that make these songs, which sound formulaic, stand on their own. It's, it's nice. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, the guitar riffing and that was great. Okay, next is the I guess the first single, uh, judging by the amount of plays, unpopular. Um, <sighs> Which is that? Is that me them? In Are they referring to themselves, or is that referring no, it was, to us? It's me them? in me in school. Um, Not you now. <sighs> I wasn't gonna go there, but I mean, <laughs> fuck, dude. Like, I mean, shit. I look, you're more po- you're more popular <laughs> now than ever, at least in regards to the internet. Yeah, exactly. I have more internet clout than I have ever had. Um, yeah. <sighs> But you know, I'm popular. <laughs> I'm popular. <laughs> I'm popular. Nobody loves me except my mom. Uh, not your dad. But that's okay, and that's all. And that's you know what? In in reality, what else do you need? Honestly. Yeah, and if you don't if have you, a mom, you... sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't have a mom, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you're uh, I'm, you're look, screwed. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love you. There I'll you kiss go. you. Mwah. All right, Mwah. cool. Moving on. Oh yeah, this track. We, we are. Whoever's unpopular, don't sweat it. You might be unpopular, but so is this song. We're playing yeah. it in three, two, one, go. Man, we're in a state already. Sonic's gonna be crazy. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're like not even two tracks in this album. We're losing our shit already, dude. I'm two energy drinks in. I'm I'm ready to get third down and go nuts. Hey yeah, I thought you were unpopular. America! Fuck yeah! Yeah, America! Shit! I don't know who ever said freedom is disease, but go on for it. Why not? Whoever they, whoever they are, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Unpopular! <laughs> Oh man, bro, I feel so American right now. Holy shit! Do you feel like you back when you were in two thousand ten? Uh, no, unfortunately, but that's okay because I feel free as hell. That that's that's fine with me. Freedom. I want to sing, but I know it won't be in time. Yeah. Animal singing is terrible. It is catchy. Oh man. It is catchy, dude. Whoa, dude. That was edgy as hell. Or rather, maybe emo. You mean epic? Yeah, true. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm 15 right now. God, I, I, that was uh, Eggman. <laughs> Eggman. <laughs> Whatever. God, that that resonated with my soul. 
Whatever. I'm Shadow the Hedgehog. That's just real life. <sighs> Dude. That's just real life. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. It's that's so, so fucking real. That's the thing. So many of their songs are so... That's the thing. You are Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. You are Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, oh my god. Um, it's so funny how like so many of the songs fit that basic formula of a three-minute song, but yet they're all distinct yeah, and sound popular. interesting enough to make them oh, stand that was out. Fun. Like the, yeah, you're that was right. Fun. They've got the formula, and that like that was fucking good. Yeah. Why? If it ain't broke, man. That's just it. Like, shit. They've been making music for how long? Like, over 20 years or some shit? Like, like as long as we've been alive, I think. Dude. Fuck. Why do make me feel old? I oh, feel old. But yeah, no, it's true. It's so true. Good shit. I am unpopular. And I know that. Wow. Now, that was no prophetic. <laughs> no notes. That, that, was, that was beautiful. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was great. Like, like I said, if it ain't broke, man. Like, that was fun. I was bobbing my head, was jamming out a little bit. Yeah, dude. Like, I, I, I really like the um, the vocal melody on that one too. Just really nice and simple and sweet. Good shit, man. I like it. It feels like they're, they're going a bit more back to the rock roots rather than throwing uh, in a bunch of weird synth elements like they've have done previously mm. like you can hear a little bit of it in there but it, it's more heavy rock at least the first two songs so far mm, yeah and i'm and i'm here for it yeah it's good 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 stuff not good shit good stuff i'm not gonna swear so, yeah um, we gotta be, okay no more swearing on the rest of the rest of the room no more swearing no more swear. all right all right all right all right no more swearing okay uh yeah that was fun good good uh just just good old fun I feel it, you know, it felt like a skillet song, a good skillet song. So what else can you really ask for? All right. Next is track number three, All That Matters, which was the second single, I think. Yes. I would assume. Uh, okay. We're going to play it in three, two, one, go. Oh, man. Am I in, like, Red Dead Redemption right now? Yes. Or, like, some Wild West something or other? You're not? America! Amen. Texas? Oh, no. And my freedom! Let's go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I knew it! My faith, my freedom, my family! Amen, brother! Hey, fucking man, I never felt more American! Ain't no swearing! I'm saluting <laughs> right now! Mmm! That's Thank how you much God. you want to fight for your faith, family, and or freedom. Woo-hoo! Damn. Damn. Bro. <laughs> I feel even more it. American than the last <laughs> song. Holy shit. It's supposed to bail you out, Mega D. Sally. <laughs> mm. Yeah! This is, I feel like I should know, be well, saluting the American flag right now. I've been saluting this entire time. <laughs> I'm not even American! I just feel it running through my veins! Yeah. Dude, you don't have to be American to be free. That's Amen. just it, baby. Amen. I'm going to church tomorrow. I'm playing this song. 
on a loudspeaker. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk in and like blasting this. I don't care. Middle Listen of up, your bitches. reception, I don't give a shit. Sorry, no! I swore. No. Uh, whoops, I swore. Oh, uh, sorry, I swore. Yo, my bad. In church. Oh, in church, yeah. Amen. If I wasn't free, I'd I'd probably be dead. If I wasn't already free, they just broke the chains and I am now free. Amen. This is the American dream. All that matters, God, your wife and kids, and freedom. God damn, you're right. This is it. I actually felt... Okay, unironically, I know I was yelling and memeing in there, but that was actually, like, heart that was a great racing. Song. Like, yeah! Like, yeah. that actually was cool. Really Shit! Like I actually started accidentally... I forgot to pause. Um, you fool. Sure? Yeah, no, that was... That was, a uh, Dude. Like, I'm not much... Okay, like, genuinely, you know, I'm not much of, like, a... That, that, that kind of fell... In, it was blues country-esque um you know agree like bluegrass i guess rather um bluegrass country-esque that one with still like elements of rock in it i'm not much for that style but goddamn like you know it works for a reason like yeah and fundamentally like one thing i started to realize when i you know became a musician and really started to expand my horizons and like try to draw inspiration from as many different places as i could you start to realize a lot of elements of country and like that genre are just elements of rock, like sort of played down a bit. And then the lyrics are just about Jesus and trucks and shit. Um, but I mean like that, like that's going on a country that could go on a country radio. And like, you know, once you open your mind to that, it's like, Oh, country's actually pretty cool. You know, like there's like nothing wrong with it. And that felt like a country track, like a skillet's take on a country track, you know? It, it was it was solid. And it was like, you know, like between the vocal performance and like just the way it was all put together, just sounded great, performed really well. Like, uh, I mean, what do you expect? These guys have been, you know, so good for so long. Uh, yes, to, say, saying that, I could definitely imagine that song on a country radio station. Like, yeah. you're... you're Correct. I got over my dislike for country music a long time ago because, yeah, like, there 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 was always a point of time where people were like, oh, you country music Fuck. shit, but then you actually like listen to more Bad. than three songs and you're like, okay, you know what? Yep, true. Yeah, it's actually, actually good. good. Yeah, that was Fuck. good. Yeah, boys, I like that. I, I enjoyed that very much. Yeah, that, that was, was good. good. Good one. I need um, to stop yelling. We got a lot to record today. I need to stop yelling. Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> uh, I'm ready all, for the I, next track. The track number four is called "Not Afraid," and unfortunately, all I can think of is that Eminem track. So hopefully, it's not that. Um, if he says "I'm not afraid" in the first three seconds, I am. Oh, I'm not afraid. All right. I may as well play yeah. Eminem. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. do it. Uh, all right. Playing track number four in three, two, one, go. Whoa. Whoa! Someone just, someone just burped. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Not what I expected. Okay. We sure this ain't like John, that one, that one like weird side project John did for like five songs? Yeah. What was this song? What was it called? I don't even remember. I I haven't listened to them in a while. It didn't last very long. No, they did one EP. Yeah. Fight the Fury. That's what they call. Oh, there we go.
That's very good. Yo! I'll stand your ass raw! Well, just inhale and exhale. Man, you're already staring death in the face. This is another track called Defying Death Defier or whatever. Jesus. Yeah, you got like a little too early for that. Four, six more songs, guy. That is such an interesting guitar. That wasn't qu quite a machine. stream. Yay. Uh. Kind of just said that, I mean, was that screaming? It kind of sounds like John just like, he like really just emptied out all of his voice and then just. Yeah, it sounded like he, he wasn't was quite a scream all day. Like, he sang all day, and then, like, he was at the point where he couldn't really yeah. scream anymore. It's just like, hold on, this will do. And he just yeah, he's like, ah, keep it in. Who cares? Uh, yeah, you, okay, yeah. you know what? The, the lyrics were very uninspired. The lyrics were, like, very... And same as every other Skillet song. Yeah. Uh, like, I've, heard, I've definitely I heard a lot of those <sighs> words before in very similar orders. But the instrumental was very unique. It rem it was like a heavier version of like what some of their more chill songs because it, it just sounded like it was. I really enjoyed it. It just sounded like a heavier version of more chill songs they've done in the past. Hmm. And I thought it was pretty cool, but I'm not not too inspiring by the lyrics. I, I, yeah, they're they're not afraid. I've definitely heard that before. Somewhere. Yeah, I do feel like uh, you know. Among other bands of a similar, you know, vintage and, you know, tenure, they could, uh, Skillet could afford to expand its lyrical horizons a bit, but I did think that was a good song. Like, it was well put together. That one got a little repetitive for me. Like, when we hit the third chorus, I was like, oh, really? This again? Um, but, uh, other than that, like, yeah, you're totally right. It was like, the, the instrumental, I think it was pretty unique, like the way they get, like the guitar riffing and stuff and uh yeah it's just it was an interesting sort of you know di it was different it felt kind of different from like their normal stuff but then at the same time it was also exactly the same as their other stuff but um whatever like and that was like you know is good like i would listen to it again like i wouldn't skip it but it's like you know i, I was you know, I'm uninspired by the song. <laughs> I guess. Yes, that, um, that that is that is not being added to my favorites playlist. Yeah. But if it comes on, I will not ignore it. I will listen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it just that was just interesting. It it is kind of a weird sort of because it, it did feel like they tried to do something a little different, and then John was like, "Not afraid." Uh, that's it. Um. Yep. So. Yeah. Oh well. Uh. No, I mean, yeah, it's not bad, though. I say, oh, well, as if it was bad. It wasn't bad. But moving on. Um, uh, track number five is the title track, Revolution. 
This was the one produced by someone I didn't recognize, or someone Youth Year and Carlo, whoever Hoof that is. Youth Year and Carlo Colas. Colas yeah, Socorro. that guy. I uh, tried. I'm sorry. I tried. Yeah, well done. That's why I didn't. Uh, there. Yeah, we'll. Yep, s- I don't know enough. what that's how that's gonna. Uh, it was, it was like me, me trying to pronounce like cumulonimbus nimbus clouds or whatever it was. Cumul. Yeah. Cumulige boo boo. Cumulonimbus. And the yeah. So I don't know how. Let's see. Let's see how this one goes because it, it is, seems like it's produced by someone who people who don't appear later in the album. I think so. Uh, no. At least in the credits. So let's see how this goes. Uh, playing track number five in three, two, one, go. Well, this is probably why. Whoa. Ooh. It does sound different. Oh. He's saying I mean, what right. he's about to do. Yeah. Ooh. I like the pace of it. <laughs> All right. Tell me how you really feel. Ooh. A million? That's not even as many lions as there I think are. You got, I think you got more listeners than that, guy. Yeah. I like this. It is different. And it does seem like the lyrics are actually sending a message that means something. Yeah. All right, man. You don't have to convince me. I'll do it. You know that, oh, is going to be stuck in your head. Oh, yeah. Uh, whoops. That revolution. I don't know about that. That's the only bit I'm like, meh. That. <laughs> Thanks for doing it again, John. Mm. Oh. My team of my team of lions preparing to take on every Pokemon will obliterate you guys. Oh, <laughs> me and why one thousand lions? Oh, my no, one billion lions, dude. One, one billion, billion lions versus versus well, okay, every Pokemon. It, it's, no, no, yeah, it's his millions. It's John's millions of listeners versus one billion lions. Who's <laughs> who's winning? <laughs> That one might actually be close. That was good. That was very enjoyable. Yeah, that was fun. I I see why they brought in Youth Year and Carlo, uh, unpronounceable last name, to uh, produce that one because that was actually different. It had a different vibe. Yeah, they had a a a vision for that one. They did. A little bit of, like, almost rapping. Like, it was nearly Mm -hmm. up to that point with the verses. Like, that was good. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I that that was added to the favorites playlist. I yeah, that was good. I think it had, I, again had mes- do something different. I like it. Hmm. Yeah. So it was good when like because you, you can tell it's a skillet song, but there's always something different with it. Like that. That's the, the those are the ones that stand out a bit, and mm. that stood out definitely worthy of a title track. 
I think most of the title tracks are able to stand out in a way. I don't know if Dominion did though, but yeah, no, I don't Revolution. Even I yeah, um, uh, my Dominion or something. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, I I really enjoy that. I'm so I'm so happy like that was different. I'm so happy it had a different vibe to it, and uh, I'm keen for what more they can do. Like, it's a shame mm. Uthier and Carlo are not in more, but that's fine. Maybe Uthier Excuse charged me. $3 million. <laughs> Maybe he did. I don't Maybe know who he, he did. is. Maybe me either. Who is um, he? Yeah, for name recognition, and he only appears in the credits. Anyway, yeah, no, that was good. I like uh, when just, you know, there's definitely a place for all, basically everything they've done so far. But it is always nice when, at least for a track or two on a new album, a band tries something a little bit different, uh, while still like making making it distinctly their own. And that is exactly what they've just done with that song. I think it's it was something a little bit different that we haven't really heard much in Skillet before, if at all. Uh, so I I really can't complain. Like it was a good, well put together song. Like it had a different sound to it. Uh, I think that was probably part of. Like I'm thinking mix wise up, so probably not necessarily in the production of it, but um, like even even to down to that element, like they they ensured it would be different and stand on its own. So that's good. Uh, yeah, just a nice little catchy song. Again, a little samey, but that is that that seems to be a pattern. So eventually, it can't be a complaint anymore. If not, if all of them are samey, <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, um, moving on to track number six, this is the third single called Ash in the Wind, uh, and we're going to play it in three, two, one, go. Fuck. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Whoa. I thought we were in for that intro Fucking. for a bit. No, neither. That shocked me. Hmm. <laughs> this is different too. At least somewhat. At least, and definitely Ooh. in the context of the album, it's different. Mm. Damn, that's fucked up. I like it. This is, this, no wonder they released this as a single. Man, that's cool. That's a cool bit right there. Even the, the what they've done with the instruments in here in the verse, cool. Someone give that piano... Someone give little Johnny on the piano a raise. That's probably Corey. I think Corey usually does piano. Oh. Well, they're playing, like, you know, really slow notes, so I assumed it was, like, some five-year-old.
Damn, what the fuck is going on? I feel like I'm at the end of a JRPG. Bro, that was cool as shit. That was cool as shit. Damn. I didn't even say a lot during that one because I was just like... Inspired. Like, not, not unironically... Like, not ironically American-inspired like the previous song we were like... Yeah, that was fucking Screaming good. in. That's that the best. Really that's like cool. the best track by far. I think, like by a, a considerable margin, I think that's the best track they they made. Like, I, I, I I unironically just want to listen to it again. <laughs> like, yeah. it's just for some reason I'm just like, I want to, wait a minute, hold on, let me do that again, one more time. <laughs> yeah, no, like it was that... dynamic. It was interesting throughout. Like, really, like even just in the chorus, it felt dynamic. Like it had you know good ups and downs in the vocal performance. Like not all the exactly the same like good variation and everything really like the instrumentation and the verses and stuff just really well put together very strong like i think that's that could be one of like just looking at them objectively you know as, as songs like that's that's up there with their best ones like that's really good that was just a really good song like they just went above and beyond on that one for sure 100 <clears> percent. <throat> i'm very happy with that. That was very cool. I I think uh yeah, I, I am inclined to agree. One of their best. Yeah. That like I didn't expect that considering it was the third single. But like that that went above and beyond. So really yeah, did. fuck yeah. Very Let's I'm very go. impressed with that one. Like that like it's stuff like it's just you know, one off tracks like this, just visions of brilliance, man. Like just I do more of that. That's what I want to see more of. It's it's hard to make shit that brilliant every time. It like, is. They, 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 unfortunately, there has to be the plain old filler song that happens every so often just to help these other ones stand out in a more unique sense, which yeah. is why, like, uh, uh, that's kind of like the way of the album. We've been saying for years, the way of the album has been dying. That's why more artists are just doing singles and you can almost see it like with modern bands they have to have a few songs which are kind of like filler yeah like you, you've heard them before and you know what you're gonna get but then they yep. can pull out shit like that to make it oh supreme yeah 100 yeah it's just it's like you know yeah i get it i write music too like you you got i you gotta like you can't have super brilliant stuff all the time like you, you know you, it doesn't come to you all the time uh i totally get it but uh you know just because like that song it felt like distinctly skillet sounding but also in every way they went above and beyond like i think the vocal perf like the vocal the way they've write wrote the vocal melody and the the actual lyrics and stuff like, the lyrics were above and beyond, the vocals were above and beyond, everything, like, the instrumentation, all of it was just a step above what they normally do. Like, and I think they probably could do more stuff, not, you know, it doesn't have to be similar to that, you know, I, I would just say, like, do stuff that's, like, more out of line, you know, not necessarily exactly what we expect. And I think that you, they could do that, like, there's a variety of ways they could do something different, but you are, you are right that you can't, you, sometimes you gotta, you know, throw together a song and then four hours and be done with it. So, um, I get it. So, and I think, uh, I'm, I'm assuming this, this next one with another generic title is going to fall into that category, but hopefully it's fun. Um, that's what we can hope for. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Yep. Uh, next one is called fire inside of me. Track number seven. And we're going to play it in three, two, one, go. Uh, whoops. 
The exact All right, same now song I feel like I'm in Awake as... and Alive right now. Yes, with the violin, 100%. It has the exact same time length as Ash in the Wind as well, one after the other. Vagabond. What a vocabulary! What a vocabulary word! I don't know, man. That's what they all say. Like, instrumental of Awake and Alive, but lyrics of, like, fucking Victoria's, like, Reach and Save Me. Yeah. Holy fuck. Weird mix. Oh, sorry. Jesus, of course. I was wondering, what the fuck are you talking about? Jesus, obviously. Of course. Jesus. I love the chorus. This isn't generic. I really like this song. Yeah. You're on your own. All right. You got a minute left. Do something a little different now. Nah, they're not going to do anything different. <laughs> what do you expect? Mm. Oh. Wait, it's asleep? Well, what's it doing? Why is it sleeping? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I don't know. I don't you... know why. The, the, the back and forth choruses, they do this a lot sometimes, especially since Jen joined, but like the back and forth chorus of like, I can't live. Here I go again. Why exist? Just the way John was singing. Oh, it just sounded so cool. It just, I loved that back and forth in there. Like, yeah, okay. In the end, it did end up being a bit of the repetitive, yep. uh, typical setup. But I don't know. I really liked the performance on that one. And I, yeah, you're right. The, the vibes of Awake and Alive, like, reminding me of that sort of era that I was all in like that that could have come mm. straight from that album and i wouldn't have been shocked uh yeah. fuck yeah a big fan of that one Very nice cool. yeah that that was um that that's definitely like i absolutely see the uh like you know that was not necessarily just a generic skillet track they actually you know they definitely wanted to do something with that one you know like they had a vision for it and they wanted like I, they executed on it really well like i do really like the back and forth choruses they do i think they work really well because of the contrast between 
John's sort of like, uh, you know, really powerful, uh, you know, horror, not necessarily hoarse, but like a uh, raspy sort of vocals contrast really well with Jen's like angelic fucking, you know, very light uh vocals that sitting sit so nicely on top of john's it's it's really well done um and uh yeah i totally get it um it definitely fell into the the ge generic category a little bit like it's really similar to a lot of the other stuff they've done but i totally see the vision it was it, this that was a strong one for sure like one of the stronger ones definitely um as far as this album goes 100 percent, that was one of the stronger ones um <clears throat> <sighs> all right um next is track number eight is called defector um and hopefully they're not talking about me from the church <laughs> yes we're playing I, I, it we have sworn a few times after saying we wouldn't so we are definitely um yeah we're not we're not in jesus age christ's good <clears throat> graces right now um i'm sorry yeah my bad dude uh Anyway, uh, we're uh, playing track number eight in three, <laughs> two, one, go. The H in Jesus H Christ stands for holy. I thought it stood for ham. Jesus ham crust. What? Oh, I'm sorry for lying. That's not his name. Whoa. Yes, this is the internet. This is Twitter. Oof. Thank you, Jesus H. Christ. For getting me off Twitter. Mm. Jesus H. Christ caught me off Twitter. Amen. I am now on Blue Sky. <laughs> Oh. Well, okay. I kind of it's kind of weird when they call it defector, but it's like I'll never be that. The title of the song. Yeah, I will never be the name of the song. Never. Yeah. It's kind of weird. This reminds me of... Oh. I totally forgot the name of it. I think there was a track on Dominion really like this. Yeah. Nice riff. Yeah. Anyway. I already have thoughts. Because I know how the rest of the song is going to go. What's the name of the fucking track? I don't remember. Yay. You hear that, Jesus? I'll never do that. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate it. For your forgiveness? It's such a shame that this is the song I like the least out of the album. And it is so Jesus orientated. <laughs> I like the the chill guitar like this. That we're yeah, that, to right it now. is nice. A nice riff. Like that. That is very nice. But one thing that Skillet, well, Skillet from the time we started listening, because I I listened to old Skillet when it was just blatant. I love Jesus and stuff like that. Um, right. There was a period of time where they were <laughs> able to make songs that were about God and Jesus and all that, but were also could be 
interpreted as like love songs or like songs mm. about caring about one another like there were a lot of ways to interpret that that was just straight up believe in god believe in jesus he will help you like that was just straight that yeah and like yeah fine hey, it's probably okay. true probably yeah, they've, they've, they've 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 done it all before like it's fair enough but like yeah, yeah. that was it was just if that. you do believe in else. god or that. believe in jesus he probably will help you i don't know yep Maybe. Yeah. So I, I was like, okay, yep, cool. That is, that is one of those songs. So that is one of the songs of all time. Um, it really is. I, yeah, not 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 massive fan, but again, it, there's there's nothing where I've just wanted to blatantly like, eh, I give a shit. That yeah. one's still pretty 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 good. Yeah, that was again really. That one felt really samey. Uh, didn't have a lot going on, but. Uh, it got their message across very clearly. That's one thing I can say about it. Uh, it really what did. What will you never be? A defector. Uh, yeah. Uh, or sorry, a defector. There we go. Um, that was a and little... then my character, then Zane comes out and says, "I am the protector," and it's just like, "No, shut the fuck." I up. I will always fight. be a protector. Okay. You, yeah, you sung the song, man. You should know how it goes. Yeah, I did. You fucking I did. Dickhead. How did it go? <laughs> I already forgot. Um, I I don't even remember. Because <laughs> I wrote it, it was, it was dog shit. It was like 2019. It was um, dog shit. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, don't remember. <laughs> um, I, I think because I usually I usually remember like how all my songs go. But I think I actually um, wrote that when before yeah. I like knew how to write. You music. got something to fight for. Yeah. Well, I'm the. Yeah, projector. I think I do. I think I do. I think I did know how to write music yet. So there's no because like, I wrote rhyme. the lyrics. Yeah. Well, I wrote it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you wrote the. That's lyrics. That's probably why I was dog shit. Well, no, I, I I'm because I I would have been able to do something with it. Like if you fed me lyrics now, I probably could at least do something with it. But I think there was like no musicality behind whatever I did, so I think it sucked. That's why I don't remember. Yeah. Like all of the what what like all the stuff I do now, it's like intentionally, you know, I I use notes the way they should be used and in a way that makes sense with the song and for that i don't think that's what well, happened. well look the, um, i got the new version of the book coming out next year we could do it again <laughs> oh boy um i'd rather kill myself but that's um yeah no way am i singing another song i do like a trailer theme for you but i don't know about a fucking i don't know about an actual song that might be a little too much um yes absolutely uh, um now a little information about the next song oh happy wedding day Alex's song. Is this so one of because their children? Because it was literally called Alex's song. I uh, googled. Um, so Alex Cooper, uh, John and Corey's daughter, uh, got married in May. Oh, I said son. It's her. So, it's their daughter. Okay, cool. It's their yeah. daughter, Alexandria Cooper. So wow. it is for her. This song is for her, and it was written exclusively by John. Whereas. All the other songs were like John, Corey, or... Well, that makes sense. It's his, it's his daughter getting married off to some guy. It's a big deal. Yeah, so I, and I, so there's always like one Skillet song that's a lot different from the rest of the album. I predict it's going to be this one. Bold claim. What evidence Bold. do you have for that? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I've just said all... I just literally yep, said all the evidence. You said it. Um, okay. Yeah. Congratulations, Alex, in three, two, one, go. Except maybe the guy she's I getting married to. It. Now, he seems like a good guy. I oh, Googled, They have a whole wedding page. Oh, really? Wow. I'll send it to you. Okay. Check it, ch check this fella out while we're listening to the song. Oh, okay, yeah. This will help me get in the mood. She is in a white dress. It's true. Holy shit. Holy shit. I would hope so. She's getting married.
Okay, that actually is very meaningful. Yeah, that is that that is oof. Wait. Yeah. Freight train's not that fast. Wow, that I, okay, you know what? For as the 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 joking I was saying that actually does mean a lot. Yeah, that's oof. Man, I can I can feel like his melancholy. Yeah. Like you can only imagine. Yeah, I know. What are you talking about? You can still read her a story, dog. What's stopping you? Well, that's true. <laughs> What's stopping you? Come on. Get it together. She'd probably be like, Oh, Dad, I can read. Dad, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> she would be nice to her bad if she wouldn't say Yeah, that. true. She probably believes in Jesus. I, from what I've read of the wedding page, yes. Oh my god, is he a childhood friend? Holy shit. I'm reading their wedding page. Mm. I think he's a childhood friend. The childhood friend wins! Incredible. Let's go! That's what I'm talking once about. Once in a blue moon. Yeah, once in a blue moon, it does happen. Wow, we. Yeah, look, honestly, okay, considering how long Skillet has been active, and I, like, if you are an old-time fan of Skillet and you have kids, like, that song Man. would fucking, like, obliterate tear your heart you. Out. Yes. Because, like, obviously being, like, obviously. It already happened. I can RSVP, being, though. Yeah. No, you could, if you want. Let's uh, go. <laughs> obviously us, like... No kids, no barely any responsibilities and all that shit. Like, and certainly no girlfriends. <laughs> certainly no love life currently. Um, like, well, obviously we don't have the exact same uh, reflection, but I can easily imagine any parent oh, God, who yeah. like is growing up, like whose child they're raising their child and like seeing the changes and making those memories of stuff like that, and then like. Before you know it, they're like getting married, and then everything hits them all at once. Of like, that's oh. not a child anymore. That is not my my child anymore. That is a grown adult. Yeah, getting married. Like, I can, I can feel the emotion. And you're right. How melancholic John was. That was a beautiful yeah, song. Really and was. They they do they do this in every album. Every single album they have a song that's incredible and beautiful but i just can't listen to it oh like i can't listen to it repeatedly like others because like it does make me feel something deep mm. down like when i'm in the car driving and i want to get hype and ready and that song pops on i'm gonna be like oh i'm sad now so i i can't do it but mm. very very beautiful very very beautiful that, that was great damn they were only dating for a year Wow. Oh, wow. Jeez. Although I guess they'd known each other since they were kids. I guess that helps. Um, anyway, maybe they're Mormon. <laughs> Sorry, that was offensive. <laughs> um, what the hell? What? <laughs> oh, 
but th- do, you, okay. do you, did you not know? Do you not know about Mormons? I know of Mormons. I don't know about the. I don't know. Oh, what. they're notorious for like getting married in like months and then having like seven children. Um. Ah. Fair yeah. Enough. Yeah, I knew two Mormon girls in high school. They both moved to Utah, and within, like, three months of them graduating, they'd gotten married to guys I'd never heard of. Um, Damn. So. Need to find me a Mormon girl. No, nah, that's, that's a joke damn. as well. Um, all right, all right, man. Yeah, okay, Calm down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, fair enough, fair enough. That's... Yeah. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, man. They knew each other since they were kids. I get it. Um, yeah, no, that you're right. That was beautiful. I, I like, I it it stirred up emotions in me that I don't have yet. Uh, and that was I'm not watching my daughter being married. Yeah, so like, but I could like that envision happens, a I'm future. Yeah, like song. I could envision a future where that is the case, and I'm like, oh fuck, um, fuck my life. Yeah. yeah. And uh yeah, it's it's man. It's it's like one of those songs that just like it just makes you like think about life and how wild it is and all that shit. It just makes you think like fuck time. You know, that kind of thing. Um I can't believe I've thought this much about life today. God damn it. Yeah. Um uh, it just it just make yeah. it just makes you feel that, you know, it's like that one specific, like really melancholic feeling you get in your stomach and you're just like, ooh. Mm, yep. Um, yeah. No, but it was a beautiful song. All right. And now that we're in that mood, let's get, jump off a cliff or something. Uh, track number 10 is called well, Death Defier. <laughs> that's what we're doing. I'm going to jump off a cliff to another cliff on a bike and <laughs> barely make it or not make it. One or the other. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. That is how it works. I'm One ready. or the other. You either make it or you don't. Uh, <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm ready for it. All right, let's do it. Uh, Playing the final track 10 in three, two, one, go. I think John was like, wow, finally my daughter's out of the house. Now I can get a motorbike and do crazy shit. Hell yeah. All right, this is hard. Ooh. Is this a Nickelback song? I always got that vibe as well. Jesus ain't gonna save you from a motorbike crash, man. (laughs) I've got nerves of steel. Ah! (laughs) Just falling off the cliff. Hmm. Okay, I guess this is fine. Man, that riff is hard, though. They love ending their choruses with the name of the song. They love yeah. doing that. That riff is hard as shit. It is. <laughs> I really like the image of John like sending his his daughter off to the wedding and then immediately fucking putting on a leather jacket with like spikes and shit and riding out of the fucking no, church. That's with- just it. The, you, you see the music video, it's the uh, just married car driving off and then he hops on a bike, straps <laughs> on the leather jacket. He's like, no, it's, no, it's my turn. Let's ride. And he just fucking goes... <laughs> Let's ride, boys. And he and the fellas oh, that's, just that's fuck so off fucking funny. go to the nearest cliff. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
It's like the, it's like he like goes straight to the crash pit. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so funny. Oh, thank God she's gone. If they have <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <if> they have <laughs> Now I've made that really emotional send-off. It's time to go fucking <laughs> ballistic. Let's go, fellas. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like it's like a bunch of dudes in their 50s, like all riding bikes, they're like high-fiving and shit. <laughs> yeah, let's go, guys. Let's Woo! go! It's just all That riff is so hard. That that is man. Like, the lyrics, cool. I I I felt yeah. similarly like there yeah, was some was good nice. lyrics in there, but there was also some like it got a little bit repetitive. But yes. that was also like it just went hard like mm. the whole time. Yeah, it just dude. went hard. Yeah, fuck yeah! What a fucking album, Skillet. They good do stuff. it every fucking time. Yeah. <sighs> That okay. I do have. Uh, I I wish the uh, the melody of the chorus for the vocals wasn't exactly the riff. You know, I wish they had done because I wanted something a little different. Like I wanted the riff to be going on and then to to sort of contrast it with the vocals, something a little different. But at the same time, I understand why they did that. Why they made the vocal melody the same as the riff. I get it. Like it really puts the emphasis on it, and it 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 is cool as shit. So, um. And it did help when the, it did, like, the vocals were riffing that melody, and then the, the guitars were doing chords under it. That helps. Um, so, yeah, that, no, that was really cool. Like, uh, just just a solid one. Um, that one, it, it didn't quite have, like, the vision. Like, well, obviously, there was a vision for this one, of course. Like, there's a very specific mood you're in. Like, you know, you just sent your daughter off to her to get married, and then you're driving off with your boys. Um, obviously, that's that's what they're going for here. I say that. I, I don't know if we just made that up, but it definitely feels like that. <laughs> we definitely made that up. I think that because you know, there's always like, <laughs> there's always it always feels like the uh, skillet ends their albums with these like just random like I don't know. This is epic track right at the end. Bam, done. Um, and the, the emotional stuff comes before it for whatever reason. Uh, but it's fine. Um, yeah, no, the the, the it, it was cool. Like I I just do wish they had try something a little different in the chorus but i can't even be that mad because it was good so uh yeah the lyrics you know the lyrics were ins really not inspired they were kind of inspired um but the vocal performance was good and it was, it was a fun little you know like i could imagine my dad you know my dad when when uh around the time i went off to college got a motorcycle and you know he must have been like 48 at the time and uh my god i can imagine him riding his bike to that song with if he has biking friends i, I would assume he does then i could imagine him riding his riding his bike with his biking friends with that track blasting i i really can see it so if the, if there is a spotify playlist called uh for the bikers i expect that song to be added immediately yeah a, that that would work fit the fit the tone yes well. yes uh but it didn't go quite above and it didn't go like uh you know it didn't go like quite as hard as like you know they they went with like fire inside of me and certainly not ash in the wind level but um yeah ash in the wind really impressed me that was a really good track um anyway yeah that, that was a solid album overall pretty solid like I, I don't know if i could say it's any better or worse than like their previous couple like the previous two that we've like talked about on the podcast um like it's hard to compare them because they all especially once they got their groove after like victorious onward a lot of them feel like they could come from you know you could mix some of the songs up and be like into you know you could change what album they came from and be like oh yeah that's that's probably from that album um yeah but uh yeah, yeah, like you could just completely randomize, <laughs> you know, you could take 10 yeah, tracks. And that, yeah. See, I think Feel Invincible, like, sorry, Unleashed did enough to stand out and mm -hmm. be like, okay, that's what It was different at the time, definitely. 
yes, but Victorious Dominion and definitely like one or two songs from this album, you could switch up and be like, yeah. oh, I uh, don't know what album that's from. But uh, that doesn't mean they're good. No, it's not bad. Good. Like, that, 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 that's, that's actually it. Most Skillet songs since sense unleashed they're like none of the i haven't disliked any of them mm -hmm. like i liked all all the songs it's just i wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to like see like dreaming of eden from the victorious deluxe uh album like that's a very slow five minute song i i'm not going out of my way to listen to that but like there there are songs which, like if it comes on I'm not going to ignore it. I'm I'm, I'm going to listen. Yeah. But um, yeah. No, they they yeah that was solid. Still kicking ass like usual. Yes. Um, they do really still have it. Like they just they just really killed it. Oh yeah. They like just you know everything that you could want from a skillet album. Like you know regardless of who you are. Like if you're a Christian person watching this, I'm sorry. You, you know no you know no disrespect Sorry, or well, anything about or anything like that but i'm saying if you are a you know a very steadfastly christian person and you like skillet even those people i think got exactly what they were hoping for out of a new skillet album i think this delivered on every aspect a skillet album could deliver on uh so there you go i think it was just strong all around but ash in the wind was another level good shit that was really, really Definitely. good. Um, well, Ash yeah, in the Wind is by of, far my favorite. Ash in the Wind was by far my yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would say... <sighs> I, mm, ah, it's tough. It's, it's tough. To, I, I can't, I, obviously, I can't compare any of them to Ash in the Wind. But uh, I would probably say mm -hmm. either... Um, I got it. Man, this is tough. Um, I can give you mine. Yeah, go ahead. I think Ash in the Wind on top, no matter what. Yeah, so fucking good. incredible. So good. Fire inside of me, and then Revolution. That's okay. my top three. Um, I, I think I, 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 something about it. Yeah, Ash something in the Wind. Him, uh, I would almost like you know for for what I said about it. It's because I wanted it to be really good. Death to Fire might be up there for me. Uh, I wanted it to be a little mm -hmm. bit better, but I'd still really liked it. And then Unpopular, I think, was really catchy. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, un Unpopular is fourth for me. Yeah, yeah, I would... Yeah, I but, I have a... If anyone's out there's listened to my original music, you know that I, I have a thing for the catchy stuff. I, I try to write mine so that they're pretty catchy. Um, like, it's... it's the how, Like, it's the kind of music I was raised on. Um, like, 2000... 2000s late 2000s era dance pop was the music i was raised on and uh so i i i've always had a thing for the catchy stuff and unpopular and showtime to a, a different extent but unpopular was a very like traditionally catchy i like it um so yeah good stuff 100 mm. percent. <sighs> awesome shit skillet have done it again those Man, I'm gonna be back to Ash in the Wind though. Holy fuck, that was really good. I know the, oh, those boys a, and girls. Such a good track. Kicking ass. I can't wait for like I, I, I don't know when. At, at some point, hopefully mm -hmm. in the future, when I get married and have a daughter, and that daughter goes on to get married herself, I'll be like, happy wedding. I'm day. gonna put and the I'm gonna put happy very, wedding very day very on and lip sync the lyrics. It's like, Dad, you don't sound wedding. like that. <laughs> like, like, while the groom is standing at the altar, uh, I'm just going to like have that song blasting in the corner and I'm going to be yeah. lip syncing it to myself as I before, before. No, I'm going to, I'm going to make, I'm going to like, I'm going to be walking my daughter down the aisle. Uh, that song going to be fucking blasting and I'm going to be lip syncing the lyrics and be like, Dad, what the just fuck? Like you're not that. even singing. Like, you're literally a singer. Why aren't you singing? Like, sorry, I just wanted to sound like John Cooper. My bad. I'm, I just desperately wanted to sound like John Cooper. Mm. Who, like, who's John Cooper? My daughter, you failed me. I can't believe it. She like really listens to. She like listens I, to fucking. I turn the song off. Shit. Play Death to Fight yeah. and fucking <laughs> leave on my motorbike. It's just like, all right, you failed me, daughter. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here.
Death to oh. fire. I don't remember this song already. Anyway. That's uh, the thing. Congratulations you, you, you a... to Alexandra and Ken. What's his name? Yes. Aiden. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> Aiden and Alexandra. And... Alexandria. Sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, and Ken. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> Anywhere else oh, he'd be a God. 10. Uh, Aiden and Alexandria, <laughs> congratulations on your yes. marriage. Um, congratulations for back in May. Well done. Yeah. I RSVP just now. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> wow. Um, nice. Thanks for letting me come along <laughs> uh, years after the fact. Uh, uh, months after the fact, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how wonderful. All right. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah, now you need to do a cover of Death to Fire and make it as heavy as you wanted it to be. That's, that's no, I point. wanted it to be... I, I just wanted it to be... I didn't... It didn't need to be heavier. I wanted it to... I wanted the chorus to be a little different. Um, ah. Yeah. That's what I mentioned with, like, Fair the enough. whole fucking... Like, I, I didn't... I don't... I it's, Maybe it's just a personal taste, but I like it with, like, while they're riffing... You know, they would they would do, like, the Death to Fire riff, and then there would be, like, actual, you know, singing that's not exactly what the riff is you know what i mean like you know how this singing was exactly what yeah. the guitar riff was i was hoping for a chorus that stood that was like its own thing separate from the guitar riff but it's fine um that's what i would have done anyway but i'm not john cooper clearly uh so because i i wish i was um but that's okay we can all dream uh and uh we if you feel dream. like dreaming, subscribe. <laughs> okay, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you want to dream. And if you do don't, it. Do it. if you don't, you'll never dream. I can't guarantee that. I'm not Jesus Christ, but hey, I can at least threaten you with that. And it may or may not happen. Um, so there. Anyway... There you go. Uh, if you, you go, if yeah, uh, make sure to fucking smash that like button with uh, a holy cross, and uh, subscribe for more album reviews. Not anytime, relatively soon, but at some point. Thanks in the very next much. two months, probably. I think there's one in January. I just oh, I have no. to edit. Legends Arceus. I realize that. Fuck. Anyway. Yeah, uh, you, yeah you do. Fuck. Yes, you do. Absolutely. Goddamn. All right. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, Stay tuned for that, guys. The, Stay tuned for that. <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm raising my hand as if to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm I'm waving at audacity. Goodbye. Right now. I'm waving. That's goodbye. it. Bye. Uh, John Cooper. I'll be your new son. <laughs>